Hi folks, Brian Meek with New Concepts again. Depending on which social media you follow, you may have heard me say something about a machine that I built for measuring the tension that a saw frame can put on saw blades. Uh, well, here it is. What it is, is an electronic load cell that's in there uh, that goes in and replaces the saw blade. Uh, then when the saw frame pulls tension on it, we can figure out exactly how much tension by reading the display unit. Um, this one is currently set up to do coping saws, but by changing these guys I can change it out and do fret saws too. Uh, we make sure that they are exactly the same length as a normal blade should be. Uh, and then we just pull tension on it and we can t determine exactly how much tension the saw frame is capable of delivering. Uh, for example, this may be a little funny, but watch this. Watch the uh, meter. As I crank the lever around, you know, here we are at 86, 87 pounds of tension. And as soon as I come off again, poof, down it goes. Um, just for reference, most hardware store coping saws, well, here, hang on a second. Let me show you what most co hardware store coping saws will do. Okay, well, through the magic of editing, now I've got the saw frame loaded. Uh, this is just your generic hardware store coping saw. It's one of mine personally. I've had it since dirt was young. Uh, took me about two minutes of screwing around to get the thing loaded, so um, I cut the tape. And in order to get it loaded, I had to put some tension on it, so that's why we're showing 23 pounds on the meter already. But as I screw this thing closed, crankity, crankity, crankity. Yeah, by the way, we'd already be, with our saw, we'd already be cutting. Would have been cutting two minutes ago. But here we are. Okay, so with this thing zeroed out, all the threads are absolutely as tight as they will go. We are to a grand total of 53 pounds, which is actually pretty good. Uh, most hardware store saws go 30 pounds or thereabouts. So 53 is not bad, but it's not near as good as the 85 that ours pulls. The reason any of that matters is the tighter you pull a blade, the less it can, it can deflect. So the tighter it's pulled, the less it can deflect this way, and the less it can twist. So as you go around corners, and this applies to fret saws and jeweler saws too, as you go around corners and curves, the tighter your blade is, the more it's going to track accurately with what you actually want it to do. Uh, and the less you have to deal with that banana blade problem that everyone is so familiar with, with coping saws. And just in case you wonder if this thing's actually working, watch as I pull on it, you can see, you see the meter moving around. Um, so that's the basics of the meter. It just drops in and replaces, let's get over here where you can see it, it drops in and replaces a saw blade and lets us get a direct reading on whatever it is that we're trying to do. And it has a similar uh, setup for doing fret saws. But now we have a direct, calibrated, traceable um, setup for measuring the tension that anybody's saw blades can put, or saw frames can put out. Uh, and yes, in case you care, we even have the NIST traceability certificate for it. So, uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us through the website. Uh, it's www.newconcepts.com, spelled with a K, of course. Um, and there will be on the <laughs> there will be all kinds of information forthcoming about all of this. Uh, thank you for watching.